Celebrating Jacksonville's bicentennial, the world's second oldest formal aerobatic team started right here in the River City nearly 80 years ago. You know what we're talking about, the Blue Angels. It's now based out of Pensacola, but for one local woman, the team has a personal history. Her grandfather was the first Marine to join. This is Jackson reporter Ashley Harding's with us right now. And Ashley, this amazing story actually almost didn't happen. Lynn Kelly tells me in 1954, the Blue Angels actually wanted to add a first lieutenant Marine with 1,000 hours of jet time. But at the time, she tells me her grandfather was a captain. Either way, things worked out and he signed on with the Blue Angels. She couldn't be more proud of her grandpa, who she calls her hero. Every year, millions of people take in the spectacle. The air shows a thrilling American pastime. But when Lynn Kelly sees the Blue Angels, she sees her beloved grandfather. I look up in the sky and I see the number five plane, which is what he flew, and I just think, wow. My grandfather did this. This is Captain Chuck Hyatt. 1954 was the start of a thrilling adventure for the young pilot. Kelly says Captain Hyatt, seen third from the right, and the crew made great memories. They even came up with a new flight maneuver called the solo loop to landing. He, he just, he told so many stories. He would laugh and just the camaraderie that he said they had was just like brothers it, right away. They welcomed him, even though he was a different rank, not the rank they wanted. And Kelly tells me Captain Hyde eventually went on with his career, served multiple tours, and retired as a lieutenant colonel. Kelly says of everything her amazing grandpa did, his Blue Angel story is her favorite. It's really cool to have that kind of history in my family because so many people love the Blue Angels. And I just love the fact that I can say that not only did my grandfather fly, but he was the first Marine to do it. For his service and history-making stint with the Angels, Kelly says Hyatt was awarded the Gray Award. Sadly, he wasn't able to see it. He died this past March at 93, joining his wife of nearly 70 years. With the city set to observe its bicentennial, Kelly honors the Blue Angels and remembers her forever hero. It just make, it brings a tear to my eye because, you know, I would have loved for him to have been able to tell the story. I love him and we miss him a lot. We miss him a lot, but uh, he had a good life and yeah, forever he'll be with us. And another great story before we go, I want to go ahead and show our viewers this picture right here. Lynn Kelly told me that her grandpa actually thought of himself as the father of Fat Albert. That's the aircraft you see here. It is the large transport plane that was involved in the air shows. She says in the 1970s, her grandfather was at the Marine Corps headquarters and saw the request coming from the Blue Angels that saying they wanted a C-130. Well, he managed to locate the only C-130 that was not planned to be a tanker. She said he approved that request and there you go fat albert was born now again an amazing life well spent reporting live this morning ashley harding channel 4 the local station